Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our City Connect 2 game. Now, uh, when you first start the game, uh, this is the main menu. And I made this video where, um, so it'll look good when you watch it, it's, it, the game is very tall compared to its width. So I've just captured a portion of it, but I'll show you what uh, the rest of the menu looks like and the rest of the game looks like. So when you first start this, you click this button and that will give you the option of playing in different languages. Let's go ahead and click the American flag and the British flag, uh, which is the default English. And uh, let's go down here and you can, at the bottom, you could actually turn the speaker on or off to turn the music on or off. Let's go ahead and click the play button. Now, when you do that, you have the option of choosing the difficulty level. And basically, there's some very easy levels, easy levels, medium, hard, very hard and extreme, and they're all different levels, so it's not uh, like it's the same levels that are just a little bit harder than the others. They're all different. You can click the back button here to go to the main, uh, back to the main menu. So let's go ahead and click the very easy, and you can see that I've completed four of the 30. And as you see, the first three levels I got a uh, medal on. The fourth one I didn't. But I did complete it because the fifth one's opened up, and if I complete the fifth level, it will open up the sixth level. Um, let's go ahead and uh, click the first level. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's up top. And this basically tells you, gives you an indicator of what uh, setting you have. And in this particular one, we're on the first of 30 of the easy level, of the very easy levels, I should say. And um, you have one connection to make and four moves to do it. Now you can actually take as many moves you want but after four moves you will not get a medal. So as I make moves, and I'll show you in a minute, let's go ahead and uh, after I make some moves you'll see that this will indicate how many moves I've made and this will show me how many moves I have left. So when I make two moves it's going to be two and two and I make three it'll be three and one. Pause button is here if you want to pause the game. I'll, I'll show you about that, how that works in a minute. So Here's a game, and here's a building. You see there's a uh, yellow road portion coming out of it. That means that's connected. And the only option you have to do is click each tile. And it will rotate the uh, roads around. You can't specify what direction, but it will, as it will uh, rotate only in clockwise direction. I just clicked that one. We'll go ahead and click this one twice. And it connected the building up. And I got the metal. So, go ahead and click the next. Now, I have 10 moves on this one. I have two buildings. These two buildings connect up. And let's go ahead and make two moves. And let's take a look and see what happened up here. Now, instead of 10 moves left, I have, I've used two. I have eight moves left. I've connected zero of the buildings. Let's go ahead and click this one. And show you that I have collected I'm sorry, connected one of the two buildings, and I've made five out of five moves. So I still have one building to connect, and I have five moves to do it. Now, one thing I want to show you is if you click this, this button here, this will take you to the video that has all of the solutions to the levels, and you can access this either by going by this button or uh, going to the to MathNook's webpage where the game is, and there's a link on that page. Um, so let's go ahead and connect up this last building. And I'll show you something that, that kind of always gets me, especially when you have a whole bunch of buildings to connect up on later levels and in later difficulty settings. Um, here's your building you start out with. This one's connected. This one looks like it should be connected, but you can see that, uh, and sometimes you can't because sometimes it's over here, but this road goes off here. And if I clicked it, it makes a connection. And uh, show you one. Let's go ahead and click the next one. And this is uh, have one building connect, 12 moves, uh, and there's there's a road going out that way. So I'll go ahead and rotate that around. And and this is well, exactly what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and actually I can move the video up, but you can also uh, uh, some of the larger levels will actually be off the game screen. And you can move it around by dragging the screen. 
but there, you can't really see. All I know is that it's not completed yet. The level isn't complete, and this looks like it should be connected, but there's a little gap there, and it's not connected. You see the road going off there. Click it, and it makes a connection, and that's how you beat that level. And now this one has three buildings connect, 12 moves, and this one will kind of show you how sometimes those roads are, are hidden. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. And these two buildings are connected, and you got that guy back there that is connected. And so sometimes you'll be wondering why it hadn't completed. Just click on that, it connects up, and you completed the level. Well, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I hope you uh, get a chance to play the game. It's a fun, fun little puzzle game. There's never any membership or sign-up required at MathNuck, and all our games are free. Uh, so uh, this particular game is in the fun stuff section. So feel free to drop by and play it, and I hope the, you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.